East Gwillenberry taking a bit of a turn over what it did last month. Uh, we're going to have a look at the stats today. We're going to start with uh, the June 22. We'll compare that with what happened a year ago, and then we'll also contrast that with what happened in May. If we're starting with the numbers, pardon me, East Gwillenberry a year ago, across all home types, we had 98 new listings come to market, 84 sales through the month, and 74 active listings, which are what didn't sell and carry over into the next month. May 22, we had 124 new listings come to market, uh, 43 sales through the month, and 120 active listings. So we're seeing those active listings on the climb. June 22, we had 89 new listings come to market. So less listings came on the market, 37 sales. So down by a little bit, not a whole lot there. Um, 116 active listings, which carried over into July. And if we're looking at the money now, 1,331,000 was the average sale price across all home types, June 21. Uh, 1,365 in May 22, currently trending at 1,255,000. Uh, the SNLR stands for the sales to new listings ratio, also known as the absorption rate. It tells us out of the homes coming on the market each month, what is the percentage that are actually selling? So a year ago, 85.7% of the homes that came on the market in June 21 in EG sold. 34% in May 22, currently trending at 41%. So we are seeing a bit of a bump up in the, um, in the absorption rate. So meaning more homes have sold, but it's, it's sort of, you got to take it with a grain of salt because we also saw less listings come out. So again, everything's balancing out at the end of the day. So although this number looks like it's propped up a little bit, there's less listings. So it would appear that East Gwillimberry is doing better than some of the surrounding markets, um, but just literally less listings came on the market. Months of inventory remaining tells us that if no other homes came on the market after today at the current rate of buying or current rate of consumption, how long would it take to deplete the inventory? So a year ago, under a month of inventory at 0.9, 2.8 in May 22, currently trending at 3.1. So 3.1 months of inventory um, combined with 41.6% um, sales to new listings ratio definitely puts us in the... Um, uh, buyer market, right? So if you want to talk about what percentage is, this is how we determine um, how uh, or what kind of market we're in, whether we're a buyer's market or a seller's market. So anything under 50% would be considered a, um, a buyer's market. Anything over 50% would be considered a seller's market. Sorry, over 60%. Between 40% and 50% would be considered a balanced market. Uh, sale price to list price ratio, home selling a year ago, 104% of ask in June 21 in EG, 101 in May 22, and still sitting at a fairly strong 99.7. So that's stronger than some of the surrounding markets. Um, days on market to get a home sold, 13 in June 21, 14 in May 22, and we've uh, climbed to 18 days. So not not um, shocking with the way um, that we're seeing these numbers pan out, that it's taking a little bit longer. Um, for buyers to get through homes and buy homes. Um, there is a lack of urgency, certainly from the from buyers right now. So for sellers, um, you wanna make sure that your home is showcased in its best light. Um, you wanna make sure that it is priced accurate to the market and come up with a couple strategies with your, with your realtor of choice. If I'm not that individual, um, you would wanna come up with a couple strategies. You know, if this strategy doesn't work to get your home sold, well then what's the next one you're gonna go to? Um, I hope you found this information helpful. Feel free to reach out to me with any questions.